Welcome back to the channel, everyone. My name is Steve Netto, and we are back today with a Friday release date of the brand new Air Jordan 1 Tokyo. This sneaker originally released back in 2001, but saw another release of it here in 2020. On August 7th, a Friday release, this shoe came out for $170 and was really, really limited today. This was a little difficult to get my hands on. I actually won a raffle for it and was able to pick it up today, so I was really glad I was able to. I, I had my eye on this. I thought it was a really good looking shoe and was lucky enough to get it so we have it here for the video for you guys on release day to check out up close and on feet and we'll do a full deep dive into the sneaker so if you guys have any questions along the way feel free to leave them in the comments down below but one huge announcement before we go any further is to be sure to check the video at the top of this video at the end of this video in the description it's going to be linked everywhere i still have my 10,000 subscriber giveaway that is live right now until sunday you guys need to check it out and enter i'm giving away a ton of really good stuff including one pair of the university gold jordan 12s in whatever size the winner wants so please go check that out and get your entries in it isn't live for that much longer but still a great opportunity so be sure to check out that video but like I said for today, we have this Japan Tokyo Jordan 1. It's really cool. And honestly, at first glance, before we get too you know deep into the sneakers, it has some really nice materials and some materials that I'm a little disappointed with. But I'll talk you guys through the shoe. We'll let you guys check it out up close as well as on feet, like I mentioned. And just totally check out the shoe. And I'll give you guys my thoughts and opinions towards the end of the video. But let's go and start checking out the shoe. So let's go and jump into the Air Jordan 1 Tokyo. And here we are now with the shoes. So like I mentioned, there's some really cool parts of the shoe and some parts that I'm a little disappointed with, but I'd say a lot more overall that I'm very impressed with that I'd love to get into. So first off is the box. As you can see, this is actually a gray box. You know, this is a gray Jordan 1 box, similar to the ones that we saw, um, you know, for the satins and any, any other Jordan 1s that, you know, have come out recently, except this one is all in that gray. We haven't seen one in this color before. So of course it matches the sneaker. Always cool to see. On the size tag, we have Air Jordan 1 High OG COJP uh, for Japan. Style code is DC1788029. And the retail price is $170. So again, this sneaker was originally released in 2001 and limited to 2001 pairs in Japan. And then Jordan decided to release it again here in 2020. And it's a really cool looking shoe and just really, really limited at the end of the day. So if we start out from the lateral side here, you can see it's, you know, two different tones of silver. We kind of have a metallic silver and a neutral gray. Um, and starting from the back, you can see the leather, which is uh, sort of this metallic silver kind of shine to it that really sticks out. And then some more of the neutral gray, which is a little bit more toned down. But the white midsole is on top of a gray outsole here, classic Jordan 1. And then we see some of the leather in that metallic silver that I mentioned. We have that neutral gray kind of nubuck material for the mid panel around the eyelets and around the toe box. And then some more of that leather on the toe box itself. You can see it's some really nice leather. I am impressed with that quality. And then you get even better leather on the tongue, which I'll show you guys up next, but definitely a clean shot from the lateral side here. And the last thing to mention, of course, is the Wings logo up top here. It's really cool. Um, it's got like a design over top of it where um, it's just kind of hidden in a case. So it looks really, really nice and clean there. So it's not printed on. It's actually a bit more uh, high quality for this pair. And actually one more thing to show you guys for the box and what's included. So if we get this opened up, you can see it's actually got a nicer paper um, inside where it actually has the, the branding of 2001 and 2020 as well as the Jumpman. It's all kind of repeated. Um, so that is just the one type of paper, but you know, really cool to see and really a nice um, touch and addition to this shoe. Moving to the front of the sneakers now, you know, they do come unlaced just like other Jordan 1s, you know, right out of the box. But if we move to that toe box, we can see the new buck around the toe box here, the actual toe box in that metallic silver, the really nice leather quality right there. You see the perforations. We have the laces here. They're a little bit of a different style than regular Jordan 1 laces. A little hard to describe, but I'll leave it at that. You know, they are just a little bit different. Then something I'm really impressed with is the tongue here. So it says Nike Air. It doesn't have a tongue tag printed on top or anything. This is literally just stitched onto the leather. This leather is really nice. This is really soft. You can see the texture to it. And this is a great quality leather on top of here. Um, so that was really nice to see. I'm impressed with that and like that a little bit more than the new buck. I'm a little disappointed with the new buck here. I feel like it looks a little cheap, especially compared to the higher quality that you see here. But overall, you know, still a really clean look from the front. 
onto the medial side now. You can get a look at everything combined and you know move together as we continue talking about it here. We have the white midsole, then we move up to that mid panel. You got that swoosh right there in the metallic silver. As we move further up, you can see uh, the upper you know lining around here for the ankle is a cool kind of pattern a little bit different um, and then as we move further down the eyelets you can see those and around to the toe box pretty much all the same mirroring the lateral side onto the back heel you know pretty much same construction uh, same things wrapping around you can get a better look at the comparison of the materials right there with the split and then behind the tongue, you guys can get a peek at it right here. I'll show you guys a little bit more in a second, but 2001 and 2020, that is really cool. I love that detail on there. And that was something that's really nice to see um, included on this pair here. But that is a shot at the back of the shoe. And now I've turned on the flash and we moved overhead here as well as loosened up uh, pretty well the left sneaker so you can get a full look on the inside. You can already see a peek at it, but the insole is that gray color again with a white Jumpman and co.jp written on the inside. We have that on both insoles. You can see the laces here. Here's a better look at them to kind of differentiate what I'm talking about. Um, you can see the rest of this inner liner, really nice there. And then, of course, the tongue tag that I mentioned before, there's a clear, clear shot at it, 2001 and 2020. So very different than, you know, tongue tags um, for regular Jordan 1s. They went above and beyond on this pair, and that's really nice to see. Um, and then as we move a little bit further inside the sneaker to take a look at the size tag for the numbers and information, we can get it shown to you guys right there for the style code and numbers. And lastly, now we have the outsole, which is the classic Air Jordan 1 outsole in that gray color. Again, you know, nothing too different. You got the Nike hit in the middle, um, but all the same as a regular Jordan 1 outsole. And now finally, that is going to wrap up taking a close look at the sneaker and checking out all the details up close. So now it's time to get them laced up and I'll show you guys what they look like on feet. So now there we have it for the Air Jordan 1 Tokyo on feet. So I'm going to go as far as saying that I think if you like this shoe, you are not going to be disappointed by it in hand. It's actually really, really well done and really nice in hand. I'm a big fan of it. I think they did a good job and went over the top in terms of what they put on the shoe. I love the tag on the back. I love the material on the tongue and this material on the toe box. It's so nice and really just well done at the end of the day that I think it's a really good shoe. Um, so, you know, hopefully you guys can see that I'm a big fan and, you know, I showed you guys the sneaker up close, took a look at it on feet. And I think the on feet checks out as well. Um, but if we talked a little bit more about the specifics on the silhouette before we get into my final rating, the silhouette is the Air Jordan 1. So I've reviewed so many different Air Jordan 1s on the channel here, and I always recommend to either go true to size or down a half size. 
I typically like to go down that half size, but true to size does seem to fit, you know, just as fine too. It's all about your particular preference, but going true to size is not bad in any way. Um, they're a comfortable shoe right out of the box. They definitely get more comfortable over time with wear. Um, a super wearable Jordan, this one being, you know, all gray and metallic gray, maybe a little less wearable than other colors because um, it is just so gray, but Overall, I mean, it looks good with shorts, it looks good with pants, you can style it with whatever you really want, and Jordan 1s are just a clean looking sneaker. But then in terms of this one here, in terms of my final rating and opinion on a scale out of 10, like I said, I'm impressed. I think it has a really good quality and really nice details on it. So I am going to go a nine and a half out of 10. I don't think you would be disappointed by this shoe after taking a look at it in hand. It's just really nice and well done. And I think it's a good shoe. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. But that's my opinion. I think this is a good one and a nice thing to see from Jordan. They did a lot of a lot in terms of the details. Um, so very pleased with it. But let me know what you guys think. And I want to thank you guys again for stopping by that video and checking it out. Be sure to check out my giveaway video that is still live. It's going to be linked at the top and at the end of the video as well as in the description. So be sure to get your entries in. But other than that, I want to thank you one final time for joining me today. And I will catch you guys again real soon on the next video.